Okay, so welcome back to some more MX versus ATV Reflex. Today we've got some some pretty sweet stuff to take a look at. Uh, the first one's gonna be the track. So the track is called Prison Yard SX, and it's by MX Rider 34. Interesting track. It, it's such a a unique idea, and the track itself is fairly unique. There's a lot of different ways you can get around this track. With uh, like here, there's a split lane, and luckily we actually get the quad quad here at the beginning, and then I think it's a triple double or something like that. Might be better ways through it, but I was really happy that we pulled that out on the opening lap. And then you can actually triple up onto this table. There's just, there is so many different ways through this through this track. And we kind of try to hit a few different line choices while we do these first three laps. Now, we do try to pay tribute to Travis Pastrana because we are using the bike and rider skin of him, which is really sweet. It's been out, this this skin has been out for, for quite a while. I believe it was by A2, A2. I think his full, the full name from um, Reflex Central is like A2 underscore F Inc. Something like that. He did a great job with it, and like I said, it's been out a while. But the final lap, these first uh, four laps, no, first three laps are just kind of trying to get around the track the best we can. And then the final lap will be the lap we try to pay tribute to him by doing backflips and tricks and stuff like that. But that's not until the very end. This section was, the, the track is insane. I, I'll try to go over it uh, on the second lap. This triple was really easy to over jump. Uh, a few sections where it was really easy. It wasn't just a track where you just sent everything. You kind of had to, to scrub or let off or something, and which makes it more difficult. This triple here was the same way. It was really, if you got a good run through those whoops, it was really easy to over jump. And then you came out of this corner it was not super hard, but tough enough to get that triple. And then I was letting off double, double. I felt like that was better. You could triple, almost quad out, but I never was able to really get that quad. Uh, this section was pretty easy. Now this, there's this big double, like this huge double. Actually, actually there's two almost back-to-back -back doubles coming up here. And this one is easier. It did take me a bit to get used to it and I couldn't really get it from that inside line. I almost always had to take the outside line to easily get over that where you jump across the track. Now this double was the one that I struggled with constantly. These first two laps we didn't even get it. I decided to try and go for it here but yeah it wasn't a good idea. Big case, big crash and didn't really work out. You can take the outside line but I don't really see any reason why. It's, it's so much slower and then you carry way too much speed. If you take that inside line, jumping that double is like perfect. It's, it's just like perfect. And then there's some big, I don't know, big whoops, rollers. I mean, realistically, I would try to double through that. But in the game, you know, it's reflex. So you can kind of turn them into whoops or whatever. And then that is a lap. And the lap times were, I'm trying to remember. I think the lap times were like two minutes and 40 seconds. Something like that for me. I mean, that's a good lap for me. And then we get through this. And you can jump that whole section. Was that four or was that five? I think that was five insane man that's the first time that i'd ever even done that i knew it was possible but was never able to actually put it together and and make it happen but the track is amazing i i think i don't know when the track came out i think the track's been out for a while i i don't i don't think it was even this year i think it was last year sometime when this came out and i don't know if i've ever actually rode a track by mx rider 34 and if I'm sure he's done other stuff, but this track is fire, dude. This track is fire. You can actually quad over that on-off table back there. And then here, I think we try to go for it. So you can actually triple up onto this table. We did kind of come up a little bit short, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. So a lot of different line choice. And then on the next lap through that section we just went through, there's actually another timing through there. There's all kinds. So if you mess up and have to roll something and try and get back into a rhythm, you can change your lines up. There's so many different ways around this track and and that I do appreciate that and I do appreciate the fact that you can't just send everything. I mean, I love tracks with huge lines where it's just wide open all the time. MX Warlord, I always come back to that guy. Just huge send everything and it's not always that easy. Sometimes you have to tune the bike just right to, to get around his tracks, but typically they're just big send, everything. Big jumps, big quads, fives, sixes, you know, whatever. And I love those, but I do always like coming back to, to something like this that has a, a little bit, I don't know if it's realism. I mean, it still is very much a video game-esque track, I guess, but it, it's just fun to come back to something where there is a bunch of line choice and it is not just 
full bore, full throttle all the time. You know, you kind of have to have some throttle control and stuff like that. And this section of whoops, I don't know what was so difficult about it. I kind of kind of figured it out after riding around on the track for a while, but we did struggle through there. And obviously we're not gonna get it here either. Now I do believe on the next lap we actually do get it. And this confused me. The first time I rode uh, laps here, I think I did like 10 practice laps before the video. Yeah, straight up. I did like 10 practice laps because it was a tough track and it took me a while to, to understand it, I guess, and get it memorized and everything. And I think on the next lap, we have some alternative lines. Like the first few laps we did were basically just the main line, I would say, the the main line that a lot of people are gonna take. But on this next lap, we're going to do some alternative ones. Here, I believe we're gonna triple through this. Yeah, so it'd be triple. Ooh, we actually choked up for the double and then triple, triple, double, I'm guessing. Yeah, so it's similar, but a little bit different. I'm not sure if we go for the, oh, we still go for the table here. I mean, there's not really any reason not to. It's, it's not that difficult. Now, where it gets really interesting is through these back rhythm sections. There's a lot of different choices here. And I know I was hitting this double just about right, but it's super easy to overjump that. I was just trying to do it for, for the sake of the video, and I thought it looked better than just flat landing everything. Take a look here and see. So we triple, yeah, here you can actually quad over that table. You don't have to step on, step off, but you have to land just about right off of that first triple in. So we come up a bit, a bit short here and then you can actually jump off of this and triple in. Insane, there's so many different line choices you could take. I don't know if you can jump over that. I was thinking, or I wasn't thinking, I actually did it, but uh, wasn't really able to. It would probably take a better reflex player than I to actually do that. And then on one of these, I think you could probably quad in here somewhere maybe. Maybe go for a quad double there, but I don't know how much difference that's gonna make anyways. And it's just a fun track. It's just a, a really fun track. And if you have Reflex on PC, I still get this question. Hey, how do you get these on console? You don't, you have to be on PC. So if you're on PC, I really encourage you if you haven't seen it or tried it out yet, definitely check this uh, blah, 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 blah. This track out by MX Rider 34 It is fire. He might have some other good stuff, but I haven't, uh, I don't know, because like I said, this is the the first track that I have tried by him. And the skin, the Pastrana skin, I know it's not like up to date, Pastrana probably doesn't use this stuff. I don't really follow him very hard, but if you want to check this out, it is also on Reflex Central. And I know Reflex Central can be kind of wonky to, to navigate, but you can still get around a lot of it, and a lot of the stuff from Reflex Central has been moved over to Dark Slides 19's website. That is linked down in the description to every Reflex video we do. So this lap is about wrapped up. I think this is where I'm gonna end the video, but we are going to finish the video up with a final fourth and final lap, uh, trying to pay tribute in Reflex to Travis Pastrana by doing a bunch of backflips and stuff like that. So you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. And until the next video, take it easy.